Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. This is my JLU Rubicon. Today we're going to install our uh, rock sliders from JCR Off-Road. If this is something you're interested in, please stick around for the video. If uh, you subscribe to the channel, we appreciate you coming back and uh, watching each one that we produce. Uh, please like, comment, and uh, let's get to it. Today we're uh, we're gonna uh, do some unboxing of our JCR off-road uh, rock sliders. We ordered these things back in August. Uh, they got damaged by UPS uh, during shipping. We had to send them back to JCR off-road. They ended up uh, making us a new set, and we just got them the other day. All right, so as you can see, uh, these are in the same uh, format as the uh, Ruby rails that come on the Jeep, with the exception that it's tied both to the pinch rail and to the body mount itself. And it gives us a step. Um, so if we're getting up on the rooftop tent or getting up there for anything off the racks, it's really gonna make a difference. But for me, what was important was that if we bumped into something, that the pinch weld wasn't the only thing um, reinforcing the structure of the of the rail so this is tied to the body mounts in these three positions and then it bolts to the pinch weld uh, just like the ruby rails do All right, so this is it. This is what it comes. It comes packaged really nicely. Uh, everything is powder coated steel um, with all the hardware that we need uh, to put it together. The installation is pretty simple. We basically take the ruby rails off um, and then these, we're just gonna jack them up. We gotta take the three body mounts loose and then everything else attaches right back to the pinch weld. It shouldn't take us long. To all right, so before we get started, the things you're gonna need uh, to get the standard ruby rails off, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket for the pinch weld bolts. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter socket for the body mount um, side for the rock rails. Um, and then we're gonna need an 18 millimeter socket to take out the actual body mount bolts, the body to frame bolts. To put it back together, we're gonna need the 18 millimeter socket, the half inch socket, uh, for the hardware that connects the new um, JCR rail to the pinch weld, along with a 3 16 inch um, Allen key to hold the supplied 3 16 inch nut. So, should be pretty quick uh, to take them off. We're going to get started with taking off the 10 millimeter uh, pinch weld bolts. All right. So, the first step is the six. Uh, pinch weld bolts all right so the only one left is this one if you remember we put this in another video uh, we put this uh, rock light in attached to that pinch weld bolt. No, so I got these 13 millimeter body mount bolts off all right now that all, everything's loose we should just be able to pull it down and off it comes just that simple all right now that we got the rock rails off we just want to clean that seam up right now while we can get to it <clears throat> all right now those uh, body mount bolts did not come out quick looks like they had some red loctite on them so you're probably gonna need a long um, half inch ratchet or a breaker bar or something to get them loose All 
All right, so we're gonna take those uh, three body mount bolts and stick them up just for alignment purposes and so we can get these all uh, set. All right, that's uh, one side done. And um, it looks, they look pretty good. Uh, they're certainly solid in the whole Jeep uh, moves when you push up and down on them. So uh, we'll get to the other side, same process. All right, with uh, that side done, it's uh, same to this side. We're gonna take the 10 millimeter pinch wed bolts off. We'll take the body mount bolts, uh, the rock rail to body uh, bolts off and then slide it right out and just repeat just like we did on the other side. Now that the six pinch weld bolts are in, we'll put the body mount bolts back in. Well, that didn't take very long. Um, I'd say it took us about an hour and a half to get it all done. Uh, the only issue we had was with the three uh, body to frame mounts. Uh, they were a little cumbersome to get off uh, just the way that it's set up. So uh, with a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, you'll get those off. I think the rails mounted up uh, just perfectly. Everything aligned really well. I think they look good. I think the finish is good. I think they're gonna serve as well. I'm 240 pounds and I was jumping up and down and it was shaking the Jeep all over the place. So really happy with the product. Uh, this is the, the third thing that we've gotten from JCR Off-Road. Uh, we're really happy with their products. Hope you liked what you saw today. Um, if you did, please leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel so you can get the next video. Um, this is Fisher Jeep Adventures. We'll see you next time.